Welcome back to Bloom Oh My Garden. As you can see, it's a crazy time to be talking about starting seeds outdoors. But with winter sowing, you can do just that. You can get your seeds started outdoors. You can get a jump start on the season and get excited to have something growing before you have to rearrange your entire house to set up trays and expensive lighting. I am so excited to get something growing and I want to share with you how I do it so you can get a jump start and get something growing. Let me show you my list of supplies. All we're going to need is some gallon size milk or water jugs. We're going to want to make sure that they are clean on the inside and the outside. We don't want bacteria in there with our seeds as they're starting and we're going to put tape on the outside. So we have some duct tape, something to water our plants with, and some plant markers, a knife, a permanent marker, and of course some seeds. We also are going to need some really good potting soil. Now I know this is not seed starting mix. So I've used seed starting mix in the past, but I find that it dries out really easy. If it's a dry winter, it dries out far too quickly and this will retain a lot more moisture and give our seeds something to firmly start in. I'm also gonna use some vermiculite. I'm just going to top dress our jugs with this after I plant the seeds. This is just going to keep the top a little drier in case it is wet. We have our jug and we don't want a lid on this. We want it to be able to get watered if it needs to. If it's outside, it should get rain and snow and we can water it. And we're going to cut it across here, but first we're going to put in some drain holes. In case there's too much water, we want it to be able to drain. Now we're ready to make our cut, but we're not going to cut at the handle. We want to leave the handle intact so that we can use it as a hinge, and you'll see right here. Now we're just going to fill it with our soil. You're going to go ahead and fill it almost to the top of the bottom portion of the jug. Once that's full, we're going to go ahead and get ready to plant our seeds. And I'm just using this plant marker to dig some holes. Now you can put in as many as you like. I'm just doing about six because as these get much bigger, you're going to have to separate them. And if there's too close, their roots could tangle and it can just pull all their roots apart when you're getting ready to plant them. I don't have a lot in this package. It's a leftover package. And this is Columbine. It is a perennial flower. And this should give me four to six plants. I'm putting two seeds in each hole. And you're just going to want to go ahead and follow those package directions. It'll tell you how deep to plant them. Now we're just going to give everyone a generous sprinkling of water. 
I really like using a spray bottle because you can really get them moist without dumping water in and flushing the seeds out and spreading them everywhere. Next, the important thing is, is to write down as much information on this plant identification card as you can. These are little plastic ones that I picked up um, from Amazon. And now you can be done or you can go ahead and sprinkle on some vermiculite. This is a half cup scoop that I'm using and I'm just putting this on there because if we have a wet rest of winter, it could get too wet in there and cause mold to grow. As you can see, you wanna dry this off really well. So our tape sticks and you're just gonna wrap the tape all the way around and make that a seal so that it's completely sealed up in there. Once you get the tape on, you're gonna to wanna to head and give it a good squeeze. You wanna be sure that the top and bottom are stuck and sealed very well. Make sure it's tight at the top and the bottom as well. Now we just want to put our plant information on the outside. You could put it up there, but it might wash away too soon. It stays better on the This method of planting really is the fix it and forget it crock pot version of gardening. Once we're done, we're gonna set them outside and check them for water once in a while. So it's easy peasy. For my next seed, I'm gonna be doing broccoli. Now broccoli is a cool season crop. And so you wanna start it very early inside to get it outside in time to get started to grow a healthy plant. And I never have enough room. I always wanna plant more flowers inside when it's seed starting time. So I thought this would be a great opportunity for broccoli, cabbages, Brussels sprouts, because they're cool season. So this will just go ahead and get started really early. And hopefully I'll have perfect sized plants when it's time to put them in the ground. Did you all notice that I forgot something here? Uh, yeah, I did. I forgot the vermiculite and yeah, that's not gonna work. But I did get a funnel and by putting the vermiculite in the funnel and I can move the funnel around in the jug and it's directing it to the right areas. So it worked out really well. Next, I'm going to use delphiniums. Delphiniums are also a perennial flower. And you might know of some of the flowers and vegetables that have to go through a cold spell before you can plant them. These are the seeds that they tell you to store in your refrigerator or your freezer. So I thought this would be great because they're gonna go through a cold spell outside and they will just take over growing just perfectly. The last step is to place your jugs outside on a south facing wall where they will get plenty of rain and sunshine. So as winter carries on, so will your growing. Well friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to try some winter sewing yourself. Hey, why not experiment, try, get out there and get something growing in the winter time. I am so excited for this growing season. We're gonna have so much fun and I wanna bring you along for all of it. So if you have not yet, click subscribe, please do that now, ring that notification bell, so you'll be notified for every video that I create to help you on your gardening journey to explore and learn more all about gardening.